is a tutorial on the basics of Finesse. So like, what I use for my songs, the instruments, and just the stuff I learnt. So hopefully you can start making your own songs with it. Now, uh, the link to Furnace Tracker is gonna be in the description. Once you download it and boot it up, it should look something like this. You'll have like six FMs, three squares, and a noise channel. And first thing you're gonna do is probably uh, change the system, which you can do by file new. Uh, you, there's a lot. The main one I'll use is this one, which gives me technically 7 FMs. You got the 5 here, then the FM3 with all operators, and then FM6 or PCM1. You got a second PCM, which is basically drums, squares, noise channel, and CSM timer, which this and this uh, aren't really that important for the Sega Genesis. And now, what you preferably want to do is find a song that you'd want to cover. And for the purpose of this video, I've picked Ruins because it's an actual song that I'm working on making right now. Uh, yeah. Um, and then the next thing you're going to want to do is find instruments. Now, I'll leave a link to the 4OP1 patches, which is what I use for the main instruments, and the Genesis PCM ROM rips, which is what I use for the samples. And then, it should look something like this. I've just extended the amount of uh, things. I'll get to that now. Uh, how it works is you'll hear the sound, obviously, but it won't be there. So what you do is you'll press spacebar to start recording or editing even or you can click that button by there obviously um and how it would work on a keyboard is so in order it is c and then s x d c v g b h n j m and then there's you get the extra higher octave, which would be Q, two, W, three, E, R, five, T, six, Y, seven, U, and then there's a tiny bit of the octave after that, which is I nine O zero P, and whatever these two are after P. And yet, so you can start just placing notes and whatever, and that should be it for just basic stuff. But we need to go into speed to edit the BPM. Now, if it, we'll go from the bottom up. So song length is basically... So see how it's like blue and then three and then gray, and it goes four like that? Song length, I think, no. No, sorry, song length changes this, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, as you can see, if I add to it, it'll add the thing. If I take away from it, it'll take away the thing. That's not that important, because you can just add and remove and copy and whatever from here. And then pattern length, that's like how long this is going to be. Um, if you want it to 64, it'll say 63, but that's because if it was on, say, 65, you'd have two of the blue things, and then it would be out of order, and so make sure it, make sure it can end like that. Uh, highlight, yeah, this is what I was speaking about, uh, is where the light would, uh, is where the light notes would come into play. Uh, I normally just leave that at 4, and then 16 is just where the second one goes, I think. I'm not sure about that. Divider... I don't know if that does anything, to be honest. Okay, here's where we start. Virtual Tempo, 
and base tempo speed can stay the same, it doesn't matter. So what I do is I'll set base tempo to double the actual tempo. So for example, on the actual work in progress for Ruins, the tempo is 138, so in virtual tempo and the denominator, I'll set those both to 38 and then I'll set base tempo to 267 because, for example, if there's something you'd want to do where it's like, like that, uh, it would be harder to do with just the base tempo being the actual tempo. And that's all that sorted. Uh, you can change octave here, it goes up to 7 and then it goes all the way down to 0, uh, that doesn't matter. And now I'm going to show you some effects using my Fallen Down cover as an example. So how these last three columns would work is this column is volume and then the other two columns are for effects. And you can see the list by here. I don't know most of them. I'm just going to show you. So volume is hex and it the volume, the highest it can be is 7F. Uh, so yeah, you can just, I not exactly sure how to convert hex myself but as for the effects um how they would work i'm gonna show you where is it so note slide up note slide down and we're gonna do volume slide which is one of these which i'll show you in a different song so note slide up is like pitch slide up but you can it slides to like a specific note and say you have this and you want to change it to something else it does it don't really matter you do e1 and then the first number would be how fast it slides and the second number would be by semitone so if it was c and you wanted to move it up C sharp would be 1, then 2, then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F. And here's what that sounds like in the song. And then obviously notes slide down is the same, but it slides down instead of up. And then later on in the song, I've got this, which does pitch slide down. How pitch slide works is just the numbers, just how fast it goes. There's not one for how long it goes, it just goes down itself. And I'll show you that now. see it sort of has this really cool effect and now I'm gonna show you the volume slide which is OA so how it should be on here on my way finally landing cover I use it for uh, these going in so I set the volume to really low and then I use OA10, which is just how fast it fades in. And you can hear that now. It's sort of, like, um, drowned out by the actual music. So if I just play it all together, you'll see what I, how it fades in. And last thing, quickly with the effects, if you want to stop the effect, I just say use zero, 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 because that's just, it's just do zero, zero, and then just click out of it, uh, so it's a blank effect, that's gonna stop it entirely, and if you want to stop a note, then you'd edit, and then you can press tab, or you can press like, there's other binds, but I'm not, 
I don't remember them exactly. There is one more effect that I'm gonna show you probably, and it's Jump to Pattern, which is something you can use where, like, a song has an intro, but after the intro it loops, so I use it in my Switch Palace song. And how Jump to Pattern works, right at the very end of the song, I've got OB, O1, and OB's just the effect name, O1's just the pattern number, and you can see that working now. And you'll be able to see where it jumps to because from 01 to OA, which is the end of the song, it's sort of highlighted by here. And yeah, now that you've done that, you should be able to make your song. And I'm probably gonna just do a time lapse of me uh, finishing my song up. I'm probably not going to finish most of it in time, but here's the current work in progress for it. So I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Bye.